Okay, we are going to do a video proof that sine of 30 equals a half. Okay, so a proof has to start with like assumptions and givens and all this kind of stuff. Um, now, the hypotenuse of this right triangle that I've drawn mm -hmm. is 1. That's an assumption because we're dealing with the unit circle. No, that's more like a given. Yeah, a given and assumption. They're like the same thing. Okay. Yeah, it is given. Okay, so if you want to call it givens, we'll call it givens. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and draw this uh, right triangle that we're dealing with in abundant clarity. And the given also is that the angle is 30. And I'm also taking that this is 90 as a given. Okay. Okay? And then we can deduce, actually that this is 60, okay? Okay. Right? And we also want the y-coordinate we want the y-coordinate of this point because that's also an assumption that uh, the y-coordinate, I mean that's the definition of sine, that's the, the definition, okay? So we're looking for the uh, height, height of this point, right? Um, okay, now, I'll let you take over. What's the first thing we do in the proof? Um, the first thing we do is we draw another triangle. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Keep going. Here. Okay, then we'll just pretend that it looks the Here. same. Here. All right, I'll fix it. I'll okay. fix it. Well, <laughs> um, anyway, so we drew another triangle. Oh, we're currently well, in the process of <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay, we got another triangle, and we didn't just draw any triangle. What triangle did we draw? An exact duplicate of the other one. An exact duplicate of the other one. And now we got to actually be careful that we know the right-hand side is an honest line. How do we know that? Because both of these angles are 90. This angle is 90, and the angle above it is 90, because that's how we started it, which makes this an honest line. Mm -hmm. Right? So this is an honest triangle. It's not something that looks like this. Right? If this angle, if the angle we started with was not... 90, right, an then triangle. we would get not an honest triangle, right? Okay, so that's not what we have. So remember, we're proving every aspect of what we're doing here, okay? Um, now, we've duplicated our triangle, which allows us to label what? What can we label in the, the bottom triangle? Um, wait, here. So, we can label the new angle saying that this is 30 again. Right. That's 90. Right. And this one's 60. Okay. And now what? And now we know it's exactly the same, so... The, what do you mean exactly? Okay, keep going. Sorry. This one would go down here, so this would also be 1. Right. And then, since we know the side is 60 and 60, and the side is 30 and 30, this only leaves for it to be 60 degrees. Okay. So then I know that since all three angles are the same, it must, it's isos, it's equilateral. Yes. Equilateral. Yes. So I know that this also is 1. Okay. But what I want, I only want this part right here. So how do so I finally that, conclude that that's one half? You know that half? this is half, so... Why do I know it's half? Because you're flipping the triangle on this line. Mm -hmm. So this is one half. Yeah, but how do I know it's a half? How do I know that the top is in 6.6 .6 and the bottom is 0.4? How do I know that? You know that. Because, the, first of all, this is an exact duplicate. Ah, yes, so whatever this is... The bottom's going to be. It's got to be exactly the same, right? Mm -hmm. So there's only one way to do that, 
and have the total be 1, that's 1 half. <laughs> okay, and then I can even add a bonus. How would I figure out what the x-coordinate is now that I have 1 and 1 half? What can I do to figure out x? Uh, we'll leave it. We'll leave it for a bonus for the viewers. Uh, what are you doing right now? I'm doing the Pythagorean theorem. To find the middle. For, to find x. So in this pink triangle up here, no, not the middle. I was labeling the bottom Yeah. as x. I'm just saying... Oh, it's the middle of the big this triangle. middle yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Right. Um, so x here, uh, x one and one half join forces in a Pythagorean way, right? Uh. <laughs> um, so this is like one fourth plus x squared equals one. One minus one fourth. And rather than spoil it, we'll just leave it to finish because we don't want to spoil how it is. X squared is equal to? Don't tell them. 